Good day guys, Bing here. So uh, last time we did this pattern. Um, yeah, not sure how to pronounce this. Um, okay, so this one time we're going to do this one, the, the one in the middle. And so basically, I think this one's uh, simpler because apparently we can use a rectangle. So let me just delete all this. Okay, so this can be a rectangle pattern. So, so you can see we have we 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 need uh, we have these four points, and then we just need to find this point, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So once we have all these uh, six points, and that's that's it. So we just need to connect all uh, all of them and then create a surface. Okay, so let's start. First, let's create a pattern. Oops, what's going on here? Oh, my mouse is doing funny stuff. Anyway, so um, okay, so this is it. So let's um, so this is a rectangle. So um, yeah, point four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, all good. So um, yeah, not sure which point need to be um the you know t the top but usually it doesn't really matter because we can always rotate them right so okay so first select these two uh create a spine through points and place uh make them re make it reference line and then we can place points use draw on face so we'll place one point here one point here and then we just need to select this point uh see this just need to flip so this means it's measured from this point, this end of this reference line. Select this one. Yeah, all good. So now we can select both of them, and we can um, let's just use a segment length for this for for now, and also we, let's create a parameter. Okay, so let's call it OFS offset, and use type parameter and OK and OK. So now we have uh, so these two us. Uh, um, we we've done these two, and then we just need to find these uh, four. Okay, so so for those four points, uh, we're going to use this method. <laughs> okay, so first uh, let's connect this, connect this these two points, and make it make it a reference line. Okay, and then we place a point, use draw on face, and onto this uh, line. Okay, and then. So instead of you know trying to play uh, place a point onto a vertical work plane of this point, um, we're going to use uh, use a slightly different way. Okay, so because uh, I I tried that I tried to use point point um, on work plane of this point, and then when when we change the orientation of this family. Um, it might you know break this family so it it it, it won't work like 100 percent so so i found this and the um i'm going to show you this method and then i, I found i found this one slightly i think it's it's better better solution okay so now let's place a, a reference line and use a circle draw on word plan set word plan and pick the vertical word plan to spot point Okay, and then create a circle. Now, click on this to create. A, just make a temporary uh, dimension permanent. So we have a, um, a radius uh, dimension. Sorry, and then with this one, we can use the same off uh, offset, which is a segment length. So we're going to use that parameter. So let's apply that to it. Now, the next step is. We're going to place a point. Use draw on face onto here, and place another one here. Select this point. Use a host point by intersection and pick this reference line. Okay, so now this point will be will always be at this point. So you can see, although there these two lines are they are not intersected, but yeah, it will you know this point will stay there. 
So let's do uh, the same uh, to the other points. So use host point by intersection. Pick this reference line. Oh, good. Now we just need to move this point, okay, to this end, and and this is it. We have two points. One here, one here, and the distance between this point and this is the same as this, okay. <laughs> so let's do the same. Oh, actually, we can probably just copy this, but yeah, let's just do it. It's um, it's very very simple. So let's just do it again. So place a point first. Use draw on face, right? And then use reference line, circle, draw on work plan, work, work plan, and set work plan, and pick this vertical work plan, and then create a circle, and click on this uh, make um, temporary dimension permanent. Select this dimension apply that offset to it place a point draw on face place onto this reference line select this point host point by intersection pick this reference line and then do the same to this point so now we can just drag this point to this end so now we have another two points so the next step is we just need to connect this point and this point spline through points make it reference line this point and this point Spline through point, make it reference line. So this point and this point, spline through points, make it reference line. This one and this one, same reference line. And this and this, and reference line. And this last one, spline through points, make it reference line. Oh, sorry, I forgot. To, so you can see this is still black. So just that's fine. So we can select all these reference lines and model lines and then just tick tick this box so all of them become a reference line and then we just we can create a form so pick the one on the left if you want some thickness to it so we can always change this thickness or you can just create a parameter to control the thickness if you want to um, and this is it so now let's have a test so go to file new um, let's use conceptual mass and uh, I'm going to just do a couple of shapes. So one is a flat, for example, I'll just do this to create a surface. Okay, so I'll pick on the one on the right to make it surface. And then I'll make another one. So this one will be a reference line, just one reference line. So we can just create an like a ex extrusion, um, just like a vertical surface, right? So maybe I'll just change the height of this one to to uh, to make it more like a, a square instead of uh, a long <laughs> rectangular shape okay i think that's it so now let's go back to this pattern load this one back and then select this and divide the surface um, i'm going to use fixed distance for this okay so i want to make this um yeah uh, more like a, yeah actually i'm not quite sure uh, let's have a look oh it's a uh, diamond shape so um yeah still uh we need to, to probably use the same same um fixed distance and then uh, we need to um let me think so first if if you want to just rotate the like the all grids so we can type in a 45 degree so it become like a, a 45 degree, rotate uh, this pattern by 45 degree and then we can all, always um, adjust this to oh sorry the other way around negative 15 and 15 so this will make this angle 60 degree I, and i think i look uh, this one looks like 60 degree to me so maybe not uh, actually looks like uh yeah i don't know but anyway so you can always adjust this so for example if that's too much you can change this one to 10 uh negative 10 10 something like that so this is just uh, uh the no pattern with um with this rec uh, actually it's it's a uh, no pat pattern is the same similar to rectangle right so now we can change this one to family this one so we just did so now you can see this is it so although it looks like a slightly different okay so i think we might need to increase 
increase this. Oops, oops, sorry. So negative 50, not 105, 15. Sorry, 150, 15. Yeah, so, and then you can, I think you can, um, you can adjust the, so this is offset. So the, the offset is this point, this point, uh, the distance between this point and the, the, act, the actual uh, point of this uh, uh, pattern based family. Okay, so so which means this one's roughly one meter, right? So if we change this one, so it will also adjust this. So now you can see we can we can quite easily achieve this pattern, right? So this is it. And then uh, let's have a test on this vertical. So a good, um, I think a well-made um, pattern-based family should be applied. I uh, should be able to, uh, like you should should be able to use it on any surface, like even. I'm not sure about organic shape or you know very crazy shape, but at least for this one should be uh, okay for see, see this. So this one so oh hell looks like something's not quite right. Uh, let me have a test. Forty five degree. Oh, I think it's probably this. So let's just use a fixed distance for this. Uh, maybe turn it five. 25 and uh, maybe negative 45 degree yeah that's better and then looks like okay we might need to adjust these angles uh, once again not sure which one should be negative which one should be positive uh, let's try okay so that's it so now you can see it also works on vertical surface uh, and yeah horizontal surface uh, all good so um, actually let me I wanted to have a test, so um, I'll use reference line with a uh, spline through points. So one, two, three. Okay, so yeah, all good. Um, I'll just very quickly create an organic shape. Okay, so create a form. So and then I'll just do this. Okay, so now I'll see if I can use this pattern on this surface. So let's use divided surface, and then try oh actually uh yeah should be fine Sh should be fine let's uh let's check the because uh because if we use a big offset number uh i mean like uh yeah let me just do this if if this number is too big and then uh, the the grid so this uh surface is relatively small it might uh break this um uh, divided surface so let's have a test so I'll use this and also this will take a little bit longer because we really need to calculate uh, each of these okay so now we have this it's not perfect because you can as you can see when I try to uh, pan this view or rotate this view uh, it will hide those edge lines so these are not flat, of course not flat because all these um, four points, the four points of uh, these pat, um, pattern based family, they are not on one plan. Okay, they are not on one plan. Uh, plan. So this is why. So we're trying to, you know, <laughs> trying to create a shape. But it's it's not a curved. It's not a flat. It's um, it's it's actually one two three four okay so you can see four triangular shape so I th um i think that's not too bad it, you can see if you know imagine if you just do a render so you won't probably won't see those uh, lines and then also you can you can if you go gd graphic um display option you can always turn off the edge so you won't see those i think this one's quite good actually okay i yep i think that's it um what else oh let me just turn turn <laughs> gd again just turn on the show edge all good um and also i just noticed that if we which we can try to so if we try to adjust these we can actually create some hexagon shape pattern 
So, um, for example, let, let me just uh, I'll just try to edit and duplicate it because I don't want to change change this one and this one. I just only want to change this. So I create uh, cre let's create a new type and edit type um, offset. So if we increase, let's try. Okay, so if I increase this to nine hundred, see what happens. Oh, that's uh, yeah, that's close. Eight hundred. Uh, seven. Yeah, I think that's quite uh, probably not. Yeah, it looks like we still need to adjust the the angle is not quite right because um, yeah. So, but I think there's uh you know you can uh, you probably you can achieve achieve this, but you you probably need to do some math to work out okay the angle um, the these angles and the the um offset uh, so with uh, with uh, like sorry let's just try one meter yeah you, and also the view angle is not quite right uh, yeah <laughs> 11 uh maybe too much 900 this looks uh maybe the angles yeah so um you might need to do just play with all these these angles and then you can achieve a hexagon shape <laughs> anyway so this is it um, I will upload this uh, file so you can have a play okay so if you have any questions please let me know um, I will see you next time thank you bye